been dreaming of iron like this since I was a boy. Damn fine piece right there. I've been practicing. Told you I was good. Ha! Oh, oh I'm all sure. Good, I guess. Look, eyes closed. Ha! Sure, that's the trick. <laughs> Gotta be confident. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, that's too much now. <gasps> oh my gosh! Back the hell off of me! I, I. This is senseless. Hey. Stop, please. I Well, hello my friends. <laughs> and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I eh, well, I've already messed up today, haven't I? I'm not going to loot because Lord knows I will only get in trouble for it. And I'm horrible at intervening and stopping bad things from happening. But anyway, in today's video, I do want to go do a main mission. But to be honest, I was on my way up to the to the pawn shop the oh uh, what what are they called again not a pawn shop up, up up to here to to sell some of my illegal wares and then i was gonna go do a main mission but that got delayed again as usual although i did finally fix my outfit for some reason my saved outfit was deleted which was really annoying so i had to do that all over again <laughs> and it's not quite the way that it was but you know what it's fine and let's see, I gave Arthur a good bath. He needs to trim again on his beard desperately. And he had a good night's rest. So we should be all ready to go as soon as I empty my bags. And and I'm gonna do that right now. I ain't been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some horse sense. We gonna bushwhack a proper convoy. Stop right where you are. Yes. You best finish your business in town and get. Lamont Raiders on business. Or what? Whoa, all right. I didn't mean to interrupt. Get lost, damn it! Don't I'm... kick up a fuss. It'll go better for you. I'm not supposed to cause problems, so I guess I have to let you all go. But I have finished my time at Pawn Shop or, or whatever else. What, what is it called in this game? I'm. Uh, the fence. There. I mean, like, it should be obvious. But anyway, I finished my time up at the fence. And we are going to head over to, not Caligula Hall, <laughs> Caligula Hall area to start a quest for the Greys, one of the feuding families. I'm, oh, I'm so interested to see how much we're going to mess all this up because let's be clear, like I'm always saying, none of our schemes Has go to plan. Has seen an Englishman called Gavin? Hi. I remember you. You were in Saint Denis. Morning, dear. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Yeah. Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. <laughs> One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. <sighs> Maybe he just left. Yeah. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really? Best mates. He'd never leave me. Never? Never. <laughs> Gavin! All right. Oh, I am so worried. <laughs> Look how he's, he's looking. <laughs> Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? Okay, bye. Good luck. You are going to get yourself killed. That is, I'm going to stumble across your dead body someday, and you are going to be long dead, possibly murdered by Gavin. <laughs> he is real. You really wandered a, a, a ways away. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just kind of ridiculous. Okay. We are getting close where we need to go. I am going to save again. How do I... Cannot use a weapon or cause trouble in Kaliga Hall when you are acting as deputy for Sheriff Gray. Can I just, like, take it off? Like, my, my badge? Wow, this is pretty fancy. Friend. 
Oh, this is gonna end horribly. What do you want, boy? This here the gray plantation? Yep. Calliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. But I have a deputy badge. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Huh. Run hell! What 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 is that that's in the cart? Did they just run into the house? You did just run into the house. Hoffman Arms. You Run went hell. all the way up there, sir. For the love of God. Okay, how big is this yellow area for me to look at? Okay, I'm on the outskirts of it. Let's go back this way. Run hell. You were awful grumpy. Are you the one who I'm supposed to be looking for? for no. Rotten hell. Maybe I need to get off my horse. For the love of God. Hello. All right, there. You someone who could tell me about this place? Well, the wages are crap and the conditions are worse. Try Bo Gray. Saw him over by the dovecote there. It's his family on the place. Okay. Well then let's go there. We'll just we'll just mosey on over on our feet. Hello. Hey mister. Morning. Morning. All of these. Connor family lost. Hello, gentlemen. Hi. Hello. Anyone seen a bow gray? Over here somewhere, maybe? I must be getting close because I can't run. Hello. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. <laughs> the thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's really? like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry <laughs> for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. Really? We plays. We've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that <laughs> case. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. OK. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Do you think I can... Uh, the course of true love. Bo Gray asks Arthur to deliver a letter to Penelope Braithwaite at Braithwaite Manor. Part two? Uh, where did part one go? I don't understand. Oh, I can abandon it. No. 
That's just the repeating everything it just said. Um, oh, I see the difference. No, I don't see the difference. I was gonna be like, oh, they're faded out when they're done, but so I'm not long. done with. And good luck. Thanks, and I'm not done with the dinosaur bones. Okay, so where am I going? All the way down here. Of course, that's where I'm going. Um, and in three places I haven't been before. Oh, that'll be nice. Okay, well, um, how about before we do that, we do something that I've been forgetting to do for a while, and that is work on my newspapers. Can I? <gasps> can I? Can I read Bo's letter? Oh, I can't. Darn. Okay, where's my newspapers? Collection of newspapers, Blackwater Ledger. Okay, we're gonna read. World kidnap, suffrage, kidnappers. I shall not forget it. I will. I will do it in a minute. Aerial amazement. Tightrope walker attempts greatest feat yet. Tightrope daredevil Bessie Adair is preparing for her greatest feat yet, walking across Pike's Basin in New Austin. Known for her death-defying feats in the San Denis Circus, she has spent. Why is the circus not available to go watch in San Denis? That would be awesome. Anyway, she has spent the past weeks meticulously training we for her bold attempt. Adair plans a grand event next month to celebrate the tightrope walk with a precise date to be determined. Peck's flying machine crashes. The improved apparatus less successful than the original. Professor Cecil H. Peck, secretary of the Smithsonian Institution, has worked tirelessly for several years on a steam-powered flying machine to be used for war purposes. The aerodrome, as he named it, is unmanned and launches from the top of a houseboat by catapult. His earlier experiments met with a certain degree of success flying briefly before crashing. Is that a success? I mean, that's more like gliding and crashing. And anyway, his newer model buckled upon launch and fell into the river. He was given $25,000 for the project. His experiments have inspired many science-minded lads. Professor Peck says this is the Smithsonian recently received a detailed letter from the Wright Cycle Company, a bicycle manufacturing outfit from Ohio that requested publications about aeronautics, planning experiments of their own. Interesting. President's acts further isolate America. Country plunges into the blackest gloom. Tariff Act hurt trade raise prices. President Alfred McAllister... I've never heard of signed the Tariff Act last week, raising custom duties by an average of 60%. Shopkeepers and traders said the tariffs will surely cause business to close and prices to skyrocket. Imported woolen products now face a 90% rate. The president asserted at the signing that tariffs result in national prosperity. If there's stuff to be had nationally. We must keep foreign products from our shores. They strip our workers of labor, food from the tables of our families, and only seek to benefit rich titans of industry abroad. He said at the signing, the president's popularity has been waning during his campaign for American isolationism, and especially after a typhoid academic epidemic ravaged and killed 2,500 troops and military bases across the country under his administration. Yikes. All right, well, let's get back to Wednesday. I am level eight on my stamina. Uh, Wednesday? Oh, Wednesday. Really? Did, was she? Where are you, Wednesday? I did not put you over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Wednesday's just running through the bushes. Like, I don't care. I go where I want. <laughs> Girl. Oh, okay. The uh, quest is going to guide me there of sorts. Well, I'm going to make my way to the Braithwaite Manor and bring you back in should anything exciting be discovered. Well, all things considered, I think we are getting relatively close to where we need to go. Wednesday doesn't really want to go any closer, but I'm kind of trying to make her. You are more likely to be spotted on horseback. Dismount and move quietly to avoid attention. Do not attack the guards. Oh, I have to sneak past guards? What? All the way over there? I mean, that's just silly. Well, we're gonna sneak, I suppose. And I already checked, I can't save. Yeah, 
yeah, can't I just go the long way around? No, no. Sneaking is required, Arthur. Although I'm a sheriff or a deputy to a gray, so that's probably why they don't like me so much, I suppose. getting close. Can I swim part of the way there? Probably shouldn't. Alligators and all that. Oh, the gazebo. Right here. Right? Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Let's hug the shoreline. All right. Uh, hi, ma'am. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. <laughs> Bo's different. But if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. <laughs> have you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Really? Sure. the area without being seen I, I am i am oh my gosh i am in a world of like red death ever swimming ever swimming Fine, Arthur. We're all fine. I don't think I see anybody over there. Let's just head this way. I feel like this is, uh, yeah, we'll head this way and then we'll head back out that, that way, perhaps. I'm sure Wednesday will meet us somewhere. No. I'm gonna crouch down still. I think you should take your, your bow. Oh, nice. I completed it already? F1. Reach Penelope without getting seen complete within three minutes. You know, I am just, just I'm never gonna be that time, time person. Is there another one for me to do that returns the letter? Kind of. The Course of True Love, Part 3. Well, I feel like we should be doing that next because I need to know how it ends, right? Okay. Uh, can I get my horse? And I, I don't seem to be able to not go through here again. Any other new quests? Molly's and my temporary horse. Nope. All right. Let's uh, wait for Wednesday to catch up to me. <laughs> God 
damn drunk horse. Um. Should pay no attention. Now stuff. Over. Hello. You okay? Damn it. You there? Yeah. Would you watch my cargo here while I go find someone to deal with this? Sure. I guess. Thank you, sir. Boss, give me some tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, oh, I'm not allowed to take this stuff. Are you guys here to pick up hey all this there, stuff? Fella. Hi. Is this one of those things where I'm like supposed to resist temptation? But like, I don't, I don't do that well. I don't want any moonshine. Oh, it's this guy who's so drunk he killed his horse and wrecked all his stuff. I... Am I really supposed to wait? Yeah, there's a lockbox. I would like to have the lockbox, please. Why are we... Why can't I get into it? I'm, a, I'm being a bad cowboy right now. Lyrian roost. I feel like I needed that for somebody. Didn't I? Let's see. Let's let's look. Tasks, challenges. Okay. Any dreadful. Ugh. Hmm. Burdock root. No, Oleander. Well, so much for that. Sir, I'm not going to wait here all day. I'm just letting you know that now. There is nothing left for anybody that they want to rob. But you were a very amusing interaction. <laughs> Remember me? I'm working for the Greys now. All right. Come on. Oh, but apparently I need... Why, why do I need to go that way? Oh, we're going all the way over there work for the well i mean I, my boss quote boss <laughs> of the great of the sheriff's department is a gray so kind of i'm working for the grays now but and let's be clear not really um Where is he? <laughs> like, um, that's not him. Oh, there he is. Oh, in this way. There we go. Hello, Bo. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, <laughs> I was like, take... really, Arthur? Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> You'll. Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's. This will get her killed for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Really? Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't yeah. want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. We like money, Fire. Arthur. Just no more running around with letters. Yeah. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. 
Twelve dollars. That's something. So Penelope's gonna go to a suffrage rally. Mount up, all right. Follow me to Rome. Come on, come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Okay. Nothing, no, no chit chatting. Easy boy, calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. Oh, you know dear. that. I do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. <laughs> this is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Oh dear. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. <laughs> we know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Oh, gosh. No, no, Wednesday. We'll you need to come participate. Wise housekeepers and daughters, we cook the food and we fetch the water, singing songs of freedom and glory. Now, be. now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. Okay. Okay. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. No, no, we're Very Callahan. Good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good. Very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Not really. No, I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Yeah. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Okay. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Well, man! Oh, my God! Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Oh. 
He's philosophy dependent hey. on biology. Sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, we will. You to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Oh, no. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always was. Bo, a little... weren't we just leaving? Oh. Who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, or what? You hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see? Follow me around here and I'm going to punch you in the face, probably, Come on, right? Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Quick now, Miss Rays. Oh, we gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Okay. This, this is... I'm surprised that all the women haven't been murdered yet. Because <laughs> that's about on par about how things go. You back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> my cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. Right. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. Yeah. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm going to take the opportunity, since we may be where we're going, to pause here today. So in tomorrow's video, we will continue working on this quest with Bo, and maybe it'll be okay this time. Maybe I will have a quest uh, mission thing, and and it won't be, it won't end horribly. That's, that's entirely possible. But anyway, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Red Dead Redemption 2 video.